All right, so today's story time is going to be an easy one to tell. I hope you enjoy this and all of its awkwardness, and let's jump into this, all right? Now, this story time takes place when I was in ninth grade, okay? So I was a freshman just getting through the year, trying to get through the start of high school. And in my study hall class, I sat in the very back corner. You're probably wondering, Luna, why is this important information? Well, you see, I sat in the back of class because I was just trying to keep to myself and avoid everybody and just try and relax and have as much alone time as possible. And of course, during study hall, this one kid, let's just call him Zach, okay? Zach came and sat right in front of my desk, like right there, right in front of me. And he would just sit there every single time. We always get to pick our seats in study hall. And he would always sit anywhere in the back where I would be for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe he liked me. Maybe he wanted to be friends with me. But he would always sit in near me and then not speak a word to me. Like he'd be in front of me, behind me, next to me, whatever. But it didn't really bother me because he always kept to himself as well. Like he would just be on his laptop or on his phone or listening to music, you know, whatever. But he would never really talk to me and we would just kind of do our own thing. So it didn't bug me that he would sit next to me. It was better than like groups of people that would be really loud. So one day I'm in study hall and I'm on my phone just listening to music, scrolling through Twitter. And, of course, Zach comes in, sits right in front of my desk, at the desk ahead of me, and he opens up his school laptop and he starts working on some PowerPoint or something for a class. And I'm just listening to music, and I see him ahead of me on his laptop, right? Like, I have a clear view of his screen and his head and what he's doing. But, of course, I didn't really care to look or, like, see what he was doing. I don't care about whatever PowerPoint he was working on or whatever he was doing. So I'm on my phone, scrolling through Twitter, and all of a sudden I look up really quick, and I notice that it's not on the PowerPoint screen anymore. He's on a screen that's familiar, but this website is not allowed at any school at all. And I realize he's on the front page of Pornhub.com. Now upon seeing this, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this kid doing right now? Like, we are in the middle of class, what? And keep in mind, this wasn't a study hall that was in like a huge room. Like sometimes we'd be in the cafeteria, but this time we were in a small classroom, okay? And just because we were in the back corner doesn't mean that there weren't a lot of other people around us, you know? He had people to the front of him and to the right of him in a pretty close proximity, okay? So like, not the time to be watching porn. Even if no one was in that room, you don't watch porn in a classroom. That is definitely not okay. So I see this and immediately I'm thinking like, all right, what do I do right now? Like, do I let him just do it or do I like tap him on the shoulder and be like, yo, can you fucking shut that off? I can see it. So I decided to just go back to looking at my phone and trying to pretend like I didn't see what I saw. So I go back to listening to music and scrolling through Twitter, just trying to unsee what I saw. And like three minutes go by, I listen to one song, and I look up, and this time I'm greeted to a different image. This time when I looked up, he was watching some porn video with two guys and one girl, like some hardcore ass porn video, and his hand is in his pocket, rubbing down there. And that's when I was like, all right, yo, this needs to stop. So I tap him on the shoulder. I'm like, Zach. He turns around and says, what? What? He shuts his laptop really quick. And I was like, yo, you know I'm right behind you, right? He's like, yo, yo, my bad, bro. Like, I thought you were just, like, sleeping or something or, like, not paying attention. Uh, I was just working on something for my class. And I was like, dude, I saw the fucking website. Like, that's not for a class project. No way they would assign, you know, watch one hardcore porn video and then do a presentation about your, you know, pros and cons about it. It's not how it goes. And he's like, dude, I just, I'm my bad. And I'm like, yeah, we can just forget this ever happened. But please, in the future, do not watch porn in or around a school and don't do anything else of that nature whatsoever. Especially putting your hands in your pocket like you just were doing whatever you were doing because you could get in like a fuck ton of trouble. He's like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. This is just so embarrassing. I'm like, it's fine, bro. Just don't do it again. I'm just trying to look out for you. He's like, thanks, man. You're a good friend. Sorry for lying to you. I'm like, it's all good, man. Let's just forget this happened. He's like, yeah, for sure. So anyway, the rest of the study hall was fine. He opened his laptop and closed that tab. For good, I hope. I hope he never did that again. You know, like, I don't know what he was thinking, especially knowing I was right behind him and could clearly see what he was doing. But yeah, guys, in the end, everything was okay. Zach was okay. I was kind of okay because, you know, I had to see Zach watching porn in class with his hands pretty much in his pants. Um, but, you know, in the end, it was all good. I think he learned his lesson. Moral of the story is do not watch porn or do anything of that nature in school or in any public place where people could see you that isn't your own space. That's yours. <laughs> um, I think that's obvious, though. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this funny, awkward little story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later.
Peace. Look, ma, I think I made it. Well, kind of, sort of. I used to chill at borders. Now my shit's brick and mortar. Feeling like Rick and Morty. Feel like they can't afford me. These label meetings are boring. They want a piece of publishing. They want a piece of touring. Now, nigga, Robert Horry. I'm keeping all my rings. All of that handy pouring. It's probably why you do not have a thing. Feeling like Martin Luther. But now I don't sleep. I wake up when I have a drink.